Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to create Tableau dashboard by using Northwind traders. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting video. This is part one and here we are going to create all these sheets and we will use one dashboard for reference. I have taken this data set from the Maven challenges. I will provide the link to download this data set from this dashboard. You can see we are having KPIs and then we are having the comparison of revenue and total quantity sold. Then for each category with revenues and under this tooltip, you can see there are many category under beverages and their revenues. Then total number of order delivered by their courier companies. And then we have top end customer with revenue and top end products with revenue. And we are having filters that is country, year, month, and then we have used one parameter that is revenue and quantity. If you change it, then it will show the data of the quantities. And then we can change to four customers as well. We can change our top end values. If we want to see the data for orders, then we can just click on orders to check the data of total orders. Then go back if we want to see the data for employees, then we can go and see the data and if you want to see the data for the product then just go and see the products okay so this is the one we are going to create first let's create the kpis then we create these charts and then we add all these details to make a perfect dashboard so let's do it so now i have connected our data set that has multiple sheet that is category details customer details employee details order details orders products and shipper detail okay so first we dragged our order details let's use the relationship to connect all these sheets so we have order let's drag order details and tablet automatically detects the relationship between order and order detail sheet based on order ids now let's drag customer ids and drag employee ids we have order ids customer id and employee ids in orders so we have connected customer employees and order details we have shipper id as well so let's connect shipper sheet as well here and now we have connected four sheet to the orders and now let's check so for this we have product id so let's connect product id with order details and select product ids and product id okay now the connection is valid and now we can see we are having category ID in in the product and to match the data with this just drag categories as well. Okay, now we have established a relationship between all the sheets. So now let's go to our tab view. Now you can see we are having categories, customer, employees, order details, order, products and shipper. Okay, now let's create the KPIs. First KPI is revenue. We are not having any field related to revenue here. So let's create it. Let's create a calculator field and rename it revenue. So what is the formula of revenue is unit price into quantity. Okay. So let's call our unit price into quantity. Okay. Just click on OK. So now let's drag it and quickly format it and I'm using font is Arial and make it to sideways and just give a space okay and just highlight this value with bold color let's preview it let's click on bold and see the data and just click on okay and now let's format it change it to the number go to custom values and change it to thousand and we want just one decimal point now just click on okay now let's create a chart for this revenue rent okay and rename it as well revenue for revenue let's drag our order date and change it into month and drag our revenue we don't want to show its header so 
unselect these values okay and now we are getting our headers let's change it to black and format its total tip okay so we need app month now just format it change it to arial and change it to nine and we don't want spot now let's preview it now it's look good just click on ok now format this one as well and change it to thousands okay now when you hover it you can see it looks very good so we have created revenue now let's create customers kpis for this first rename it customers and search for customer ids and drag it here and change it to distinct count now let's format it customers and make it to arial and go here and give a space between them i want to highlight this just bold it and click on ok and now let's create a similar trend for customer as well customer trend ok now remove this and add our customer ids and and change it to distinct count ok let's hide this and go to our tool tip remove this and add a customer and change it to arial value is 9 and make it bold and click on ok now let's format it go to format go to lines and then go to rows and change grid light to nuns and same thing we can apply here as well just change it to none okay so we have created kpis for revenues and customer now let's create kpis of orders okay hashtag of orders now search for orders you can use order id for either from order details or from orders okay let's use it from orders and change it into distinct count okay just go to text edit it and add hashtag orders change it to left apply our font that is arial give a space and make it to bold okay and just click on ok now let's replicate it and create a order trend and instead of this drag our order ids and change it to distinct values okay we don't want to see its header so let's just hide it go to its tooltip and drag it and click on order ids change it to arial and give the size 9 and make it to bold and click on ok ok so we have created kpis for revenue customers and orders now let's create what is the average shipping cost for each order ok so for this we have one field that is freight now let's drag it and change it to average and now let's format it quickly average shipping cost per order okay take it here and let's make it to bold and click on ok average shipping cost 
and now let's create the same trend for fridge as well let's duplicate it remove it from here and let's drag it here we don't want to see its header and just repeat the same process all our build that is red change it to Arial change it to size 9 and let's make it to bold and just click on ok and change it to average ok now you are getting average shipping cost per order in every month ok let's rename it average shipping cost now our last KPI is average discount first rename it average discount let's call our field discount change it into average and go to format and change it into percentage okay I just want to see the data till one decimal point let's quickly do the same process and edit it average discount and apply your same font same size and make it to bold and take it to left and just click on ok now let's do the same thing for discount as well just remove it drag our discount change it to average percentage and just over it till one and I don't want to see its header so just click on ok now go to tooltip and call our values average discount apply our same font same size make our discount to bold preview it and just click on ok so we are having average discount trend ok so we have created our all the KPIs that is revenue customers orders ship average shipping cost per orders and then average discount okay now let's create our charts as well now we will create a combination chart of revenue and the quantity sold for this let's drag order date and change it to month and drag our revenue and drag our quantity as well ok and make it to a dual chart for revenue let's change it to let's keep it to line and for quantity sold let's change it to bar ok to move line to the front just right click on it and move mark to the front now we are getting line and we don't want to show its header so just hide it ok and let's adjust the size little bit now this looks good ok now we are getting our bars as a quantity sold and on the line we are getting our revenue ok now let's format the tooltip for this view so for this we don't want the text field and now let's format it as revenue ok I don't want this one to be bold and same thing here as well apply our same font that is Arial and increase the size to 12 same here as well and now preview it now it looks good ok and same thing we will apply here as well let's do it quickly
now you can see our tooltip is looks much better than before so we have created our combination chart so now rename it now let's create our next chart that is now we will create two chart one for top and customer and second for top and products for this we need revenue and quantity as a parameter and one parameter to select our top and values so let's create the parameter first let's create our top and parameter first rename it top and change the value to integer and select all values change current value to 3 and click on ok now let's create one more parameter to swap our measures so let's give a name select param change the value to string and go to list give the name revenue and quantity and click on ok now create a calculated field to reference our parameter first rename our calculated field and giving select param calculated field and now i'm using case statement and referencing our parameter when we select revenue then it should show us sum of revenue when we select quantity then it should show us distinct count of quantity and then end our calculation okay now just click on ok so now we are ready now go to our customer sheet and drag contact name contact name has all the customers that are available in our database search for our calculated field that we created and drag it here and drag our contact name into filter as well go to top go to buy field and instead of using contact value select our parameter that is top end and we are using the data based on our select parameter calculation okay and now just show both our parameters so that we can dynamically change the value okay we don't want its header so unselect it let's give a space between the names and decrease the size of the bar okay now let's sort it as well we go with descending order select the field that is select param calculated field okay when we change it to quantity it will show the quantity let's show the mark when we change it to revenue it show the revenue okay and when we change it to top six customers then it will show top six customer with revenue now we name it top and customers okay now similarly create for top and products search for product name drag our product name drag our calculated field and drag product name into filter go for top repeat the same process now show our parameters then sort it based on descending and then using a field we don't want to show our header give a space between the names decrease the size of the bar now it looks good first quickly reset the background of this we don't want grid lines we don't want zero lines as well same thing here as well okay do the same thing for open customer sheets as well 
remove the grid line we don't want to show it's zero line action okay now we have reset this the one thing here is revenue is showing in a simple number let's say if we want to show them into the thousands and we want to show like 117k and if we change the quantity quantity should remain in into the numbers okay so how we can do it if we are trying to go with this and format it will not work because we are using multiple fields here okay so for this we need to create a label just duplicate it and go with add it and rename it and label what we are going to do is we are giving the format here to show the number with our desired format okay we don't want to change anything for the quantity because we want them as it is so we want to just go with this sum of revenue so we are having 117483 so first we need to round it to up to one decimal and use our round function divided to thousand close the bracket and then give a decimal point one okay so now we get one one seven point four now we want to add the k after this so for this let's convert it into string and add a k okay now it is giving error because we have one value with string and one value with number so let's do the same thing here as well now you can see our calculation is valid when you click on apply drag this one into label now you can see our value is changed and when we change it to quantity it will show the numbers when we change it to revenue it will show the value in thousands okay now let's format its tooltip as well remove it go and add our contact name and then add as then add our label and then add our parameter let's quickly change it to our font that is Arial. change it to nine and we don't want to apply bold to all apply just to contact and our this one okay now preview it now you can see when you hover it you can see this this customer has this much of revenue when you change to quantity now you can see this customer has total number of quantity this okay now quickly same thing apply to here as well drag our label into here if you look at this same thing is applied to here as well let's quickly change its tool tip drag our product name then add as and then our label values and then our parameter okay apply our same font change it to nine we don't want to apply bold to every values just apply to product and apply to values as well okay now you can see when you hover it on it you will get their values okay now we will create our categories with their revenue and total number of quantities sold and in their tooltip we will add their subcategories okay for this let's search for category name and then search for our values then change it to tree map okay now we have created our tree map with categories and to show its label just add the label so that we can get our desired values in the proper format let's show our parameter as well 
now you can see the values are changing based on revenue and quantities so to add their subcategory into their tooltip first let's create the sheet and search for their description and we don't want to see just change it to this and increase the size of it so that we can see all the values and little bit increase the size of it and if you drag you can see grain and cereals has this one and dairy product has cheese confections had dessert candies and sweet breads okay so to use this sheet let's first rename it sub category and go to our category go to their tooltip and first remove it and add our category name as then call our sheet that is subcategory okay and then add a value that is subcategory and then show its values i want to show its labels and then show our parameter now preview it okay and apply the same font that is arial we don't want to highlight this so just do it and click on ok when you hover it you can see we are getting a total number of subcategories under this so we are getting description as well so let's go to our this sheet and hide this now let's format this to remove these lines from here go to sheet go to here and remove our row divider okay now this line has gone now go to categories and now you can see beverage has soft drinks coffees teas beers and else as sub subcategories and their revenue is this one okay if you change it to quantity and now you can see c4 has seaweed and fish and total total number quantity sold is 42 okay now let's create a pie chart first name it so we are using pie chart to show total number of orders delivered by courier companies okay hide this so we are having details in the shippers okay first let's create a pie chart quickly change it to this one go to entire view and hide its headers change it to dual axis remove this from here increase the size of it and make it to white color now let's change the chart type to pie and here as well okay now let's drag company name into the color of this so that we can get three color for each company we get different color now let's go and add the color for petra let's add this for pd let's add this and for united package let's go to our color sector and add this one okay and click on apply and click on ok now search for our order ids drag our order ids into label and change it to count and drag order id again as well so that we can show them as a percentage first change it to distant count go and percent of total okay and 
add company name into label as well now let's adjust this apply a same font change to same size and let's preview it and make the company name bold and click on ok now let's format our percentage value to one decimal point ok and let's format it again for this we want to show them into brackets now let's preview it and click on ok now it look good and now let's drag order IDs into their label so that we can show total number of order delivered and now increase the size of it go to label apply our same font that is Arial change its size to 16 make it to bold and click on apply now you can see we are getting the values okay now our pie chart is ready now we have created all the sheets in the next video we will create the dashboard and we will create three more dashboard with order details product details and employee details then we will add all our shapes icons and then we'll connect all these dashboard thank you so much guys if you like the video please do like share and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos